Don to come on stage. An interior designer by profession, Jharna has been actively organizing Indian events for the last few years. She is involved with a number of charities like Ekal Vidyale, Udvan Karangal, and AIF. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Jharna Madan, and she will be sharing a few words of her inspiring story, having worked with our 2011 Woman of the Year, Dr. Manjushir. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jyoti. Good evening, everyone. I have to tell you, I am so excited to introduce, you, introduce to you our very next speaker. Why? Because it's like introducing and being in presence of a real celebrity, an Oscar winner to humanity, and they're rare, very rare. Now, how else can I describe someone possessing such boundless compassion, someone having endless energy and total passion and commitment in her contribution to upliftment, empowerment, and betterment of women, her community, and her patients. Frankly, her achievements are nothing short of amazing. It leaves me breathless just seeing and reading all of her contributions. There isn't enough paper to list them. And the most inspiring thing about it is how she takes everything in her stride. Like she's achieved something really quite normal. And when you consider she's first and foremost a loving mom and dynamic role model to her daughter Charlene, as well as being a bright, shining beacon of possibility and encouragement to women and girls everywhere, it makes her achievements all the more inspiring. She's a dedicated wife and finds endless support and encouragement from her husband Deepak, whom she calls her backbone. Not only is she well-loved, respected, and cherished by all those who have had the pleasure of being in her presence or having been touched by her work, she's deeply in love with her work and her contribution. Marry that with the fact that she has a truly loving personality, is vivacious, and has a wonderful, charming way about her. She adds a class of touch and elegance in everything she does, and it's no wonder why she has an army of adoring fans and well-wishers wherever she goes. And I can personally attribute certain successes in my life, just recently, which would not have been possible if it wasn't for her friendship, guidance, and encouragement. Her mantra to me has always been, be positive, believe in yourself, and live life to the fullest. I'll be forever grateful and thankful for what she has done for me and what she means to me. She is truly a blessing in my life. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and help me warmly invite the current woman of the year, the woman of substance, Dr. Manjushet. Thank you, Jarna. I'm glad uh, I wrote a few things down for my speech today because I would definitely be speechless after this. I truly don't think I deserve it, but I definitely appreciate it. So, thank you, Jarna. It is said that it is good to have an end to the journey, but it is the journey that matters in the end. I certainly feel that way today. It's been an amazing year for me. I have often been asked three questions this year, and I would like to answer them today. The first one is, how has Woman of the Year helped you or changed your life? I found that when you get an award like Woman of the Year, it gives you a platform, a visibility, and it brings you enormous opportunities to follow your passion and touch people's life in many different ways. For me personally, it helped me connect various causes 
that I believed in. I've always had tremendous passion for women's causes and believed in empowerment of women. And I've been blessed to be able to work with some wonderful people and organizations like Saheli, Asian Task Force. And I've also been fortunate to serve on the committee of political forum and very honored to be the president-elect of Indian Medical Association of New England. <laughs> adding, the, adding the visibility of Women of the Year has helped me connect so many people, groups, and organizations that I sometimes felt that I became the go-to person as Woman of the Year. It was very common for me to get calls from people all over New England who wanted to be connected to a women's group for domestic violence, or even to find the right doctor who spoke their language or who wanted to serve in the forum. Just to name a few things, it has been truly been an enormous privilege for me to be able to do all these things. It has also given me opportunities to meet some wonderful people, write about them in a column, truly expand my horizons, and help me grow as a person. The second question and comment is actually quite interesting. Last year, when I became Woman of the Year, I used to be asked all the time, how do I do it? And I said that it's not always the time that we spend in pursuing our dreams, but it is our belief, our enthusiasm, and above all, our spirit which defines our success. I have always said that if someone like me a simple working mom in the community with all the responsibilities of marriage, kids, elderly parents, and in-laws, and all the social obligations could do it, then anyone can do it. And <laughs> Interestingly, as the year has gone by, I now get approached by so many women who say that it is this simple statement from a working mom that they could identify with which has made an enormous difference in their life and encouraged them to pursue their dreams. That brings me to the third question, what I have learned and what my message is. I have learned that while it's very important to love and respect people in your life, the most important thing in life is to know what you truly want from life. You, not your family, not your husband, or your wife, or your friends. Just you. So first of all, define your passions and dreams. Not just know yourself, but create the person that you want to be. Be positive. For me personally, it is very important not to have any negative energy around me. And work hard. And as they say, the big secret of life is that there is no secret. You can only get there if you're willing to work hard. We get lucky when we do all these things. And as it said, luck is truly about preparation, meeting opportunity. Lastly, my message is very simple. Just give back in life. It may be an hour a week or a month, whatever time you have. Make a difference in someone's life. It is said that getting the most out of our life is giving life your most. And giving truly liberates the soul. Involve your families in volunteering. One of my biggest joys in life has to be involved, my daughter Shalin. Make each and every moment count. As Tagore said, life is given to us. We earn it by giving it back. Be grateful for what you have, people who support us. And on that note, I want to thank you, all my friends and well-wishers who have always supported me, my family, and above all, everything, my husband Deepak, who has always been my rock and my conscience, I could never do it without you. <laughs> my daughter Shalene, who's always kept me grounded, sometimes even rolling her eyes when I say something, anything good about myself. <laughs> and thank you, Pendra Mishra. I am so honored that you allowed me to put my name behind and sponsor this wonderful brand of yours. I'm truly, truly honored to be a supporter of women's causes and to be able to put my name behind truly means a lot to me. And Martin, 
and Indian Union team for their faith in me and all of you for so patiently listening to me. Thank you so much for being a part of my life.